Welcome to the spring races at Talladega Super Speedway for the weekend of April 19th through the 21st of 2024. This weekend we have races in the Arca Menards Series, Xfinity, and the Cup Series. The Truck Series is off until May 4th at Kansas. Last weekend at Texas Motor Speedway, we saw action in the SpeedyCash.com 250, Andy's Frozen Custer 300, and the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. In the Craftsman Series truck race, Kyle Busch took the checkered flag. This ties Todd Bodine for the most truck series wins at Texas with six. Busch has won the last four truck races he has entered at Texas Motor Speedway. This was his 20th overall win at Texas, six in the truck, 10 Xfinity, and four Cup Series wins. Second place was my pick for the win, Corey Heim, followed by Nick Sanchez in third. In the Andy's Frozen Custard 300 Xfinity race, we saw the second closest finish in series history. Sam Mayer and Ryan Sieg battled over the last lap to finish one one thousandth of a second apart. This is about one inch. Sam Mayer, who was one of my wild card picks, would be declared the winner with Ryan Sieg in second. Justin Allgaier was third. The last lap of this race did not disappoint. I think Ryan Sieg will eventually get to victory lane. In the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400, we saw Chase Elliott break a 42 race winless streak in double overtime. Brad Keselowski finished in second, followed by William Byron in third. The schedule of events starts on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time with the Arkham Menards practice. There is no television coverage for that event followed by the Xfinity qualifying at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. We have a busy schedule for Saturday, 20th of April, 2024. Cup Series qualifying starts at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on FS1. At 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time is the Arkham Menards General Tire 200 on FS1. The Xfinity Series Ag Pro 300 is the final event on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern on Fox. The final event for the spring races at Talladega will be the Cup Series Geico 500 at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. The weather for this weekend is not looking very good. On Friday we have a 40% chance of thunderstorms with a high near 83 degrees. Saturday there is a 20% chance of thunderstorms during the day with a high near 76 degrees. Saturday night it goes up to a 40% chance of thunderstorms. Sunday is looking like it will cause weather delays with a 60% chance of rain and a high near 60 degrees. It could be one of those days where the race is delayed until Monday. Hopefully we can have a race with little to no rain delays. Last year in the Arkham Menards Series at Talladega, Jesse Love won the race and is now in the Xfinity Series. I have no idea who will win this race this year. The driver I would pick is William Sawalich, but he is not old enough to race at this track so it is just a toss-up for me in this series on Saturday. In the Xfinity Series last spring at Talladega, Jeb Burton was first, followed by Cole Custer in second, and Parker Kligerman in third. For the Ag Pro 300 this year, I am going with Chandler Smith to win the race. He is currently first in points. At Daytona, he finished fifth, and Atlanta second. I picked these results as they are speedway tracks. For my two wild cards, I am going with Austin Hill, who won at Daytona and Atlanta. He is currently third in points. Final wild card is Sam Mayer, who won at Texas, and even though he is 14th in points, is locked into the playoffs with the win. It is a toss-up, though, to pick a winner at Super Speedway tracks, as the name of the game is to stay out of trouble. Even though a driver has been good at these tracks, they can be taken out in an instant. So don't be surprised if a driver who has not done much all year wins this race. In last year's spring race at Talladega, Kyle Busch was first, Ryan Blaney second, and Chris Buescher in third. Who are the current drivers that have won at Talladega? Ross Chastain, spring of 2022. Bubba Wallace, fall 2021. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., spring 2017. Chase Elliott, two wins, spring 2019, fall 2022. Denny Hamlin, two wins, 
Fall 2014 Summer 2020 Kyle Busch, two wins. Spring 2008 Spring 2023 Ryan Blaney, three wins. Fall 2019 Spring 2020 and Fall of 2023 Joey Logano, three wins, fall 2015, fall 2016, spring 2018. Brad Keselowski with six wins, spring 2009, spring 2012, fall 2014, spring 2016, fall 2017, spring 2021. That puts him in a tie for second most wins at Talladega with Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt Jr. At the 2023 Spring Talladega race, Kyle Busch was first, followed by Ryan Blaney in second and Chris Busher in third. My pick for the winner of the 2024 Geico 500 at Talladega Super Speedway is Brad Keselowski. With a solid second place finish last week at Texas and six wins under his belt at Talladega, I think Brad is ready to add to his win total at Talladega. Also, four of his six wins have been at the Spring Talladega race. The first of my two wild cards are Ryan Blaney. Blaney has three wins here, with the most recent at the Fall Talladega playoff race. Blaney was racing well last week until an accident took him out of the race. Final wild card pick is Ross Chastain. On the final overtime restart at Texas, Chastain was in second. In the final lap, Chastain wrecked out and finished in 32nd. I think he can take his positive momentum and reach victory lane at Talladega like he did in the spring of 2022. Super Speedway races are so hard to predict. As I said with the Xfinity race, you need to stay out of trouble for 95-99% to of the race. You wreck at a Super Speedway, you are most likely done for the day. Let me know who you predict to win this weekend. Enjoy the races and thanks for watching.